so in the last class we discussed question number 1 yes and uh, we also discussed question number 4 no uh, question number 7 yes or no oh yes four no four four yes four three so tell me what is your doubt now third question third question third part yes third part so as we discussed in the last class quickly tell me how can i rewrite this equation okay so 4m or m plus 1 upon x yes plus plus 3y 3y equals to 14 so the three by in this particular type of question the question says um reducible reduce reducing reducing them to a pair of linear equation isn't it okay so yes. it means that the questions are right now in well, the variables are in the denominator so we have yes. to first of all make them in the numerator So what should I write over here? Let one upon m. So what we will do for y? Uh, y ko y le. Yes. Y le main y. Therefore, my equation becomes four m plus three y equals to fourteen. Understood? Yes. because this y is in numerator only yes there no need to change this thing. so similarly this this become my first equation this will become my 3m minus 4y equals to 22 yes. this becomes my second equation yes so after doing elimination method you can find m and y value Tell me what is your doubt in this now? Uh, Will you be able to solve? Yes, I found out y value, but I can't find m value. Why? If I do the elimination right now, four yes. m plus three y equals to fourteen. Yes. Three y minus four y equals to twenty three. Now, if I multiply. This by three and this by four. Four. Okay, so it becomes well m plus nine y equals to fourteen into three forty two. This will become twelve. Sorry, this is m. Is m no twelve m minus sixteen y equals to what will be the answer over here twenty three times four ninety two okay now I will do the subtraction so this will get cancelled so sixteen plus nine twenty five Yes, and ninety two minus forty two will give me fifty minus fifty minus fifty. Yes, 50. 50. 50. So y equals to minus two. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now I will substitute this equation in any other one equation. Yes. Okay. So let me just substitute in the first one. Four m plus three bracket minus two equals to fourteen. Yes. Four m equals to uh, positive six twenty. Twenty. M equals to ten point five, or you can say, sorry, not 
So it will be five. So what was the problem? When it's twenty by four, let's try reduce the right. Please be careful. So M value is five. I have to find X value. So the question was one upon one upon X equals to M. Remember? In the beginning. Yes. Okay. So one upon X equals to five. X equals to one upon five. That is the answer, final answer. So I got X value and Y value. These are the two solutions. Now, quickly take a screenshot. Later on, you can copy. Yes, I'll copy that. Okay. Yes. So later on you can copy. Let me just yes. delete this part. So in the last class, we did not discuss question number five and six. Remember? Yes. Let me tell you, they are super easy. So if I tell you uh, something like a upon 2 plus B upon 2. How can I write the next step? Can uh, I write it? Oh, okay. it A plus B. B. Can I write like this? Yes. If I can write like this, why can't I write the reverse? Suppose this is the question. So can I write the next step as a upon two plus b upon two? Can I write like this? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. So similarly, in this particular question, so can I write the next step as seven x upon x y minus two y upon x y? Can I write like this? Yes. Understood what I'm explaining? Yes. Yes. So over here, what will happen? X and X getting cancelled, Y and Y getting cancelled. So what I will be getting over here? 7Y seven minus 2X. 7 upon Y, not 7Y. Okay. Minus 2 upon X equals to 5. five. So this becomes my first equation. So what will happen to the second equation? Can you tell me? 8 upon y plus 7 upon x. Very good. 8 upon y plus 7 upon, 7 upon x equals to 15. Now this question is exactly similar as first question, isn't it? Yes. First question or third question, whatever you want to take. Yes. So similar method you have to use, which we have discussed in the last class. Okay. The, those who are watching this online video, the link of the first video will be provided in the description. You can go and watch that. So any doubt in this question? Sana? No. Quickly take a screenshot and move on to the sixth question now. Okay. okay. When you're done, just let me know. Okay. Is that? Done? Okay. Yes. Over here. Now, sixth question. Now, yes. this particular question and this particular question are connected. Let me show you. So as you can see, this x, y is there. So yeah. this is getting multiplied by 6. So if I shift this x, y to the other side, what will happen? Divide. Divide. Okay. So see, how does it happen? 
so 6x plus 3y upon xy equals to 6. Okay. Yes. Now the question is like if okay. part. Got it? Yes. So what will be the next step over here? 2x plus uh, y 2x. Okay. Yes. yes. 6 upon y yes. plus 3 upon x. 3 upon x equals to 6. Yeah, that becomes my first equation. I will not call it as a one first equation because actually this question is right now in the first question uh, perspective. Yes. Now I have to take 1 upon x as m, 1 upon y as n, and then find the first equation. Yes or no? Yes. And uh, what will happen to this particular equation is the same thing. So 2x plus 4y upon x1 equals to 5. So x is getting cancelled 2 upon y, 4 upon x equals to 5. 5. Any doubt in this? No. I hope you will be able to do this. Quickly take a screenshot. Yes, take it. Take it. Very good. Make sure you make notes and send the work to me. Okay. Now, over here, moving on to the statement word problems. Okay. So, yes. give me a second. Let me just.